because it actually lets you put your feet on different levels and different things. You can reach for things, but it just looks like if we take a static snapshot of walking, I'm going to put my right foot forward and my left foot back because that's the leg that's towards the wall. So whichever leg you have at the wall, you put that one forward. And then I rotate and I put both my hands on the wall. So I'm just closing the chain for everything, right? Mm -hmm. Now that I'm here, I can work on anything I want to for this person, right? I can work on lateral flexion of their spine by moving my hips towards the wall and away from the wall, if that's what they're messing, right? Yeah. Or I can work on rotation, either by having them push more with their right hand and find more rotation that way, or I can get got, bloop, eh, bloop, blop, bloop, <laughs> right? <laughs> Or if they're in a really sort of flexed over position, which is more typical than a hyperextended position, I can help, they can help themselves find more extension with the idea of my leg is back. And that's actually gonna probably translate into that front leg, excuse me, back leg hip a little bit, right? <laughs> so you're getting this rotational shape, which is kind of what your body's in when you're walking anyway, and then you're just playing with it. Yeah. 